So Emily's case is what I would call a classic case of lip overfilling. You're putting your, um, your faith in your face basically in the hands of someone who's supposed to know what they're doing and... And they're expected to do what is best for you. And sometimes that means saying no and I think they didn't say no to you obviously. An MRI scan reveals so, what's going on what under the here. skin. So here we have a sagittal cross section of Emily's face and you can see the lip filler is highlighted literally in white. It's not just in the red part of your lip which is down here, mm. the vermilion, but it's also started to track up towards your nose. And in the chin, or in the lower lip, it's going, starting to go down to your chin. How much do you think is still in there? I wouldn't be surprised that every drop of filler that she's ever had is still there. I would have got it initially done probably about five years ago, and since then I've had it done probably about six times. Filler is supposed to last for six to 18 months. That's what everyone believes, and, and still to this day believes. And you believed it for I many believed years. It, absolutely. So we put them through the MRI scanner, and what we found was really staggering. Fillers were lasting way, way longer than six to 18 months. So we had, of the initial 10 patients that we scanned, pretty much all of them had fillers lasting for longer than two years, anywhere up to 12 years. Couldn't it be argued that that's a good thing? I don't have to go back as frequently, it's still there, my face and lips are still plumped up? You know, if you think about it, something that's permanent or semi-permanent is way more lethal than something that's temporary. And certainly, if you were to follow the old paradigm of that fillers last six to 18 months, you could inject them ethically every six to 18 months. If they're lasting 10, 12 years, it's a completely different ball game. And an accumulation of filler injections can be disfiguring. I just had one the other day, and she literally had like this, um, you know, golf ball nodule in her cheek. The physical manifestation is part of the issue. The way a patient sees themselves and how that affects their mental health is another. The problem comes when you have to dissolve someone and it's a bit more wrinkly or a bit more sunken. It's very poorly accepted. So really you've got to never get to that point where you're overfilled because it it's, plays a huge impact on you psychologically. Emily had more filler than her lips could hold, but what she didn't know was that it was spreading elsewhere. Has it made you self-conscious? Yeah, it has. My sister was actually the one that pointed out, because she gets them done as well, and hers, yeah. um, hers look really good. You know, it's got that really nice crisp line um, yeah. that outlines them, and she was just like, oh, yours don't look very good at all. See how thick they are, all the way up to the nose. So I definitely travelled further up. I mean, that's a lot thicker than what I'd expect. So this is just a little bit of local anaesthetic. And I'm going to put that just in the skin here, where we go in with a cannula. You know, there is a chance that it gets removed and then you freak out. I know, I feel like I'm going to not know myself. You're not going to run off and go get another five mils? No, I can promise you, I can promise that. <laughs> Definitely not. So I'm just going to aim just above the lip where the filler has migrated. This stuff naturally spreads around this dissolving agent. It's actually used as a spreading agent. How does this process work? Because it looks like Emily's lips are getting bigger. <laughs> the fact is you're putting stuff in, um, but and also your body will react to it. Yeah. But in a day or two, that will shrink quite quickly. Okay. Yeah. So what I'm doing here is aiming for the parts, which we saw on the MRI, that there was some filler just beneath the lip. Mm -hmm. It's not easy to watch. A little bit stingy here. This is the very last bit. Well done, Em. I'm going to pass the mirror. Yeah, let's have a look. <laughs> oh my god, I don't want to. It's just temporary, but. Oh, they're good. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. We that. thought you might <laughs> like them. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Well, and so does the dissolving like start like straight away? Yeah, yeah, they'll it's go crazy. in about three hours. If these temporary fillers are actually more permanent, practitioners could be over prescribing. And patients whose filler has moved could mistake a lack of definition as time for a top up. It's why perhaps we're seeing that filled lip look become more common.